Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video and we are flying out the J35XS. Thank you all the members, all the patrons. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Make sure to subscribe, we're trying to hit 15,000 subscribers until the end of the year. And let's get into it. So today we're flying out the new premium aircraft for Sweden, which is the Finnish uh, basically built. It is Finnish built, but by kits. It's not entirely made out of uh, Finnish... Uh, engineering of of course it, it is still a sub aircraft uh but it is basically a j35 f2 okay uh it is the export version of the f2 uh the Draken f2 and it's called the xs so a very very interesting aircraft it is what we always wanted from a Draken. to be honest it is an aircraft that uh, we were we were waiting for a long time, and yes, it is a very very fun aircraft to fly. Uh, I was not the greatest pilot here uh, flying out because these were my first kind of impressions with it. It was uh, like at least six months that I didn't play any Drakings, so or maybe a little bit less, but still, it's been a while since I've played um, a Drakings. And yeah, it is an amazing aircraft. It has its problems, it's not perfect, but it has many positives to it just for being a Draken that we really wanted. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the positives and negatives of it. Of course, it's a Draken, so the positives are that it turns like almost no other aircraft in the game, probably no other aircraft in the game. It's really hard to shake this aircraft from a perspective of being in the defensive against it. It is just really, really hard to do it. Um, it is fast. The com fuel consumption, it is fixed. It was really bad back in the day, and now it's pretty all right. <clears throat> and even um, just being a Draken is already a good thing, right? Uh, and all the problems that the normal Draken, the D variant, had, this one actually fixes it. So, yeah, it is a little bit more heavy, and we are going to talk about the, the downsides of it. But it has two additional A9s. Uh, it is still the A9J, but it is two A9s. Uh, it has the IRST and it has a better radar. So it's everything that you want from a Draken. And also it has flares. It is only 12 of them. It is, uh, they're the large ones. So at least we have that, right? And yeah, 12 of them are not the greatest thing ever. But it really, really saves you sometimes. It's just, I mean, if you... If, if you play this aircraft, you will know what I'm talking about. You will see those moments that, man, if I didn't have this one flare, I would be dead right now. So, and it happens basically all the matches. So, yeah, it's a very, very good thing that this thing has flares, even though if it's already, uh, if it's only one. So everything is better. It is basically using the same engine as the D variant. It is the same fuselage. Uh, it has uh, six missiles better radar irst and it has flares that's the main thing um it has a problem it is still 10.7 so it is the same br as the other one but it has some problems as well so let's talk about the negatives of this aircraft the first thing is that it is a little bit heavier okay it's around 200 kilograms heavier than the d variant due to the new avionics look at this yeah i was going to be dead if it was not for that flare it was the last flare that i had but we made it work so yeah very cool um, but going back to the, the to the negatives, yeah, it is heavier, so remember that. Not by much, but... And you cannot feel it, but it's, it, it is still heavier, so you will lose a little bit more energy turning, and you will need to, uh, like, beat this inertia that it has a little bit more, right? Another downside is that it has only one cannon. It doesn't have two cannons. Uh, so one of the cannons were was removed to actually make space for the new avionics, for the new... Uh, Ray, there knew everything that it was um, using inside the aircraft, right? So, very interesting, uh, but it is a, a, a downside, kind of a bad one. To be honest, the, the main armament of these mis the, these aircraft will be the missiles. I really hope they add the R-13M, uh, because it was used in this particular aircraft. It has even some pictures of it, and yeah, it is just a, an aircraft that really could use a better weaponry system at this BR. Um, the other downside is obviously it has the flares, but only 12, so you have to mine that using flares. I'm normally using, uh, in these matches, I was using Mixed, but after a while, 
I just decided to use the normal ones, the, the standard flares, just because it's not that much. It's the same principle as using the uh, MiG-23. So yeah, there is that as well. Um, the cannons don't have, of course, they don't have uh, tracers, so it is a difficult cannon to use. The BR, it is a problematic BR, especially right now with this new patch. You are 100% all the time facing up tiers. So, but normally it's those mixed conditions, right? A lot of 10.3s and then 11.3s and, and stuff like that. Most of the time it's a mix between down tiers and up tiers. But there will be always MiG-23s, F-14s flying around. The one, one thing that you will face, but uh, in a less a lesser amount, it is the F-16s and the MiG-29s, but you still face them and we need to be careful. Another bad thing about it is that it doesn't have an RWR. That can be a very, very bad problem if you are not paying attention. So, yeah, don't fly high with this aircraft. You will be destroyed by BVR missiles. Try to fly low um, and just use it like a MiG-21, right? So fly low, get people by surprise with the missiles and, yeah. Use a lot of the IRST. It helps a lot uh, keeping the track like this if you're trying to lock somebody and he's using flares or anything like that. Uh, it is much easier to just remain on the lock um, on the target so yeah a very very good aircraft i cannot wait and express how much i want this aircraft to be um, a mainline aircraft tech 3 variant of an aircraft maybe the j variant or something like that uh, because I, I got it this i got this from for myself but it is an aircraft that uh, just because i really want it right but i really want this aircraft to be for everybody so hopefully they add the J variant for the tech trees. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool. As you see, the cannon can be used as a, a very good weapon if you aim it correctly. You don't have a lot of ammo, but still. So these are the downsides of it. It is an aircraft that I think a lot of people were waiting for. It is still a $70 pack, so it is expensive. Don't get me wrong. I still don't think it's very much worth it. I still think that the ML is better, the MiG-21 Biz Lazur is better than this, easier to fly, and just an overall better, uh, easier aircraft, right? Uh, this one it has its its problems, and you really need to be careful while you, you are flying it, because if you don't pay attention, you will get destroyed uh, very, very quickly by basically all the fourth generation aircraft, right? So, yeah. And yeah, it's an aircraft that you can get a lot of kills with this. Like, like this is the perfect situation for it. Get behind the enemy lines and get people by surprise with the E9s. The R-13 would uh, help a lot more. And it would just make it uh, a lot, you know, a lot easier to get these long range kills. The A9J really doesn't have the range for it. But still, it's a 10.7 aircraft. Uh, it is still fine with it, uh, right? Uh, but it's just I'm asking for the R13 because it is the Finnish version, right? And the Finnish actually used it uh, as uh, with the R13s, right? So it is just basically a, a minimum thing that we really needed. And also, uh, where are the M4s, man? I know they are not the greatest missile ever. They will be significantly, significantly worse than the M9J and the R13. But still... It is a missile that was used by this nation and by this aircraft, so why not add it, right? Uh, even if it's worse, it will be a radar missile, it will be, of course, uh, IR and radar versions, but it can be used for head-ons with the radar uh, guidance, and it tends to turn 15 to 18 Gs, depending on the variant, so maybe it will not be that bad. It probably will be better than our 3 r So, yeah, that would be very, very cool to see in this aircraft. Overall, I mean, if I would give you a score on this aircraft i would probably give like an eight out of ten because there are some problems with it as i said and there are better premiums that you can buy for the same price but it is an amazing aircraft that it is very much worth it if you have the money and you want to spare the money uh, but it is one of those aircraft that uh, there's not much to research with it right uh, the swedish tech tree is not that big so there is that as well. So consider all of these things before buying it, okay? Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 15,000 subscribers. And I see you guys on the next one. So bye, guys. See you.